Hi Aries, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Today I'm going to ask Spirit, how do they feel? The person that you're thinking of, what are they thinking and feeling? Where is this connection headed? What does Spirit have for you for guidance? Anything Spirit wants to share with me. It's a fully channeled message. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, please share with me any guided messages that you have of love. How do they feel? The person that I'm thinking of, where is this connection headed? What do you have for this connection? What do we have? I'm listening for you now. I have winter with all these hearts, okay? Maybe developing over the winter months, something like that. It's growing, growing leaves, all these hearts on the tree. I have watched very soon. Uh, that came into me as answers. Some kind of answers coming to you, like where are we headed? What's happening next? Something like that. So I do feel like some answers are coming. And I have mine, possessive, that came into me is also jealous. You may have somebody that's a little jealous, a little obsessive over you, a little bit possessive, a um, little bit of jealousy going on in this connection. This is a transformative love. You've changed me. You are, I'm changing because of you. So that's nice. One more, please, spirit. Fire in my soul and you inspire me. So this is coming into me as very um, high passion. I'm going to say um, the passion, you know, like passion and chemistry are off the charts. Okay. A little bit of that feeling. I've got some jealousy. Um, maybe that's something that we have to work on. Um, and um, obsessiveness, a little bit of obsessiveness just coming into me. I'm going to see what the cards are saying, but it, it could be they're just really into you and they just don't want you to be with anybody else or it's a problem. <laughs> it's somebody that, you know, you're going to have to keep an eye on and, and make sure that they're not, you know, crossing boundaries in some way. So thank you all for joining us. Please remember to hit that like button and comment below as I continue to grow. Um, those help my channel so I can create more and more content for all of you. So let's see about what I'm feeling with this. Um, let's start with the passion and chemistry. All right. Let's just say this is good. I've got a five of cups. I have strength. I have a queen of cups. I have a two of wands, missing piece of the puzzle. And I have an emperor, a sense of stability and regrets from my past. I feel, I, I feel torn. It, it came into me just now as um, even though they're an emperor or even a queen of cups, which both are very strong energies, that it's a feeling of the last time I was here, somebody cheated on me, somebody broke my heart, somebody destroyed me. So now I'm kind of reliving that pain as I'm in this connection. So I'm having a hard time with like mixed feelings, not mixed feelings towards you just unresolved past feelings. But I do like the missing piece of the puzzle. I think that that's telling me that you guys work really well together. You fit, you fit well together. You could be very much aware of your person's past and you know that these feelings exist. Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles, The Magician, and a Page of Cups. Yeah, very much a feeling of mixed feelings. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Like, I, I don't want to say it's somebody who lost hope in true love. I, I don't want to say that because I do feel like this person is falling for you. And I do feel like they're trying to open up their heart. They're trying to be as honest with you as they can. But I do feel like there's this undercurrent of that I... Um, I had to repair my life. I had to start over again. I had to start from scratch and a little bit of a pity party or woe is me party. Um, but it, it, you probably know that about them anyways. And they probably have already shared that with you. But I feel like it kind of rears its ugly head as soon as something isn't 100% perfect all the time. All of a sudden they go down the path of like, 
you know, I've been hurt before and I don't want to be hurt again. So this person's having a hard time being all in. They need to be all in. I have a, a chariot, page of wands, and I have a six of pentacles. Being more give and take. Um, a little bit of a feeling of is one person putting more into this connection than the other? And I want to make sure that it's more equal. So I, I am encouraged here with this chariot and this page because that's telling me that I'm making progress. Is there one of their key words? I am making progress. I am moving in the right direction. Um, I am obviously attracted to you and there's great chemistry here. This could be somebody that is not saying anything along the lines of what they want in the future. And that could be the problem, that they don't talk about future plans or um, if they wanted a committed relationship or not. It's like not even on the table. They don't talk about it because they keep going back to the last time they were in a committed relationship. Um, their world fell apart and they've spent all this time, money, effort, years to rebuild their life. So they could be having a really, really hard time with um, just talking about what, what the next step is. And that could be something that you're struggling with. Spirit, share with me their true feelings. What are their true feelings, even if they're not saying them out loud? What is it that we need to hear? When we connect sexually, sometimes it's so intense, I run because I feel myself falling deeper in love with you. Are they running from fear? Are they a, are they a runner? And... Um, they don't want to be hurt again. They don't want to start over all again. If I give you my heart, if we start talking about a future, if we start making plans, um, you know, or is, are those plans going to just blow up, you know, in my face again, something like that. I just want to make love to you somewhere safe and warm, tell you all my secrets and dreams and fall asleep in each other's arms. So that what came into me there with that message was they want to feel safe. So even if this person's an emperor, even if this person's a queen of cups, everybody wants to feel safe. OK, everybody wants to feel that the person that they are certainly making love to and um, putting time and effort into that you feel safe, that this person isn't going to hurt you. So there's a, definitely an insecurity energy coming through. Sometimes I feel like it's not possible for you to care as much as you say you do, like it's not real. And one day the truth will be revealed. I'm just staying prepared. You can't guard yourself from, from heartache. I wish we could, but people try. They push people away. They run. They... They don't talk about um, deep commitments or they'll say, you know what, let's just stay in the present. It's working right now. I don't want to talk about where we're going to be in 10 years from now. Those are all fears that they don't want to talk about it because they're afraid that they're not going to be where they want to be in 10 years. So but you may be the type of person that needs to know you want to know where we're going to be in five or 10 years. The love that I can see. The love that you can see my, I love, sorry, I love that you can see my truth, but it scares the blank out of me too. I have a feeling this person's been brutally honest with you right from the beginning. I feel that they have said, I can't make you any promises, or I don't know what I want in my future. But something has changed in this connection. Either we have spent more time together, we have become more intimate, we have deeper feelings for each other. So what we said starting out is no longer in alignment with where our relationship is today. And I feel like new words need to be said or new feelings need to be expressed. I have so many fantasies to play out with you. Where can we, we begin? You want more than sexual fantasies. You want to know that this person is in your life for other reasons than a physical relationship. And you may need to hear that. You may need this person to say, no, I love you for all of these other reasons as well. So let's get some signs. Spirit, what sign may this person be? I just got a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, Libra. Capricorn, Aquarius, and a Gemini. Okay, so 
it, those are the ones that spirit are sharing with me. Let's see what else they're saying about this connection. Do we have a runner? Do we have a runner that fear to commit? I'm going to say, um, and you may know that about them because they don't talk about it. They, they don't talk about we're going to be together or what we're going to do next. They, they just kind of keep it in the present and always say, I just love being with you. I just want to keep it the way it is. And do we have to put a label on it? You know, so they, they just, um, they just avoid the conversation. I'm going to say it that way. Um, can we forgive and forget? Can we surrender to, um, that one of us is hurt that the other one isn't, you know, sharing as much, you know, something like that. Can we have some kind of peace? Um, I'm about to break. I feel weak. You could break my heart. It could be as simple as that. You could be the one that breaks my heart and I don't want my heart bro broken. So therefore I'm trying to prevent myself from having a broken heart. It doesn't work. That's not how it works. We don't get to decide who we fall in love with or when. And once we're in love, we take that risk of we either it's going to work out and God put us together for a reason or somebody will get hurt. And then because spirit has something else for you or a different path for you. So but it's a feeling of I feel like you're the one that could break my heart. Integrity. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to not hurt you. I'm trying to not confuse you. I'm trying to make you feel uh, more secure. So those could be happening. But I have a tendency to sabotage myself and relationships. And I feel like this person is a admitted runner, that they admit that when the going gets good, they self-sabotage, they run, they push people out of their life, they don't admit their feelings, something like that. My anxiety is worse than ever before. I'm constantly worried and insecure. So they could have other things on their mind. They could have other issues going on in their life that work or stresses or finances that interfere with what their true feelings are. It's very a very honest and deep reading for you. I have courage. I think I can fix this. That's encouraging. Beauty, your, your natural beauty takes my breath away. No doubt in my mind this person wants to be with you. Are they fighting their fears? Do they think that they can fix themselves? Do they feel confident that they can make some changes? And um, Spirit saying learning to trust. I, I feel like trust is, um, you know, a big thing. And, and Spirit just said they're filled with fear and doubt, that they are... Um, they're just afraid that they're going to get hurt again. So there's got to be somebody and something in their past that they're comparing this connection to. So keep reminding them that you're not that person. You're not the person that hurt them. You're not the person. You're a different person. This is a different relationship. That spirit brought you guys together for a reason, a different reason at this time in this place. So keep um, reminding them that, you can't compare the past to the present. It's not, it, you can, it's two diff, totally different relationships. You're a different person. So whatever they had with anybody in their past can't ever compare to you. This is a six of wands, success. I want success. I want balance in my life. I want peace in my life. I don't want, I don't want to worry about where we stand. How about that? Making a choice, opening up my heart to a sorts. Seven of Wands, they don't want to give up. King of Cups, they are, they do have tremendous feelings for you. But I feel like they just have difficulty expressing their feelings. So this is somebody who I love you and they may be trying to show you through their actions or spending time with you or making love to you. They think that if they make love to you, then therefore you should understand that they're in love with you. Um, and you're not making, you know, yes, of course, you, you make the connection, but you want to hear it. You want to hear them say that we have a future. We have, um, we're, I'm happy with you. I don't want to be with anybody else. Um, so this person needs to express, learn to express themselves a little bit more with um, words, okay? Not just actions or not just making love to you. So I feel like they've got to step to the plate. I do feel like they have very romantic feelings for you. I'm working on myself, just came in. They're working on themselves. They're trying to um, be more grounded. They're trying to be, I want to say, be more in it is how I want to say that this is the first time that 
maybe they are putting this much effort into anyone <laughs> that they are really trying to be available. I mean, I think that's a great energy that they are trusting more and that they are. So you're obviously doing something right, Aries, because they want to try harder. And that, that's, that's important. They're trying, there's something about trying harder um, to be a better person and to be better. You know, there's something, there's something going on with that. Let's see what their feelings are. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about their feelings. I want success. I've got this beautiful King of Cups. I'm unhappy with the way things are right now. I don't feel like they're unhappy with you. I feel like they are struggling with, um, I want to say outside pressure. I want to say it that way, whether it's you, uh, the relationship, family, society that says, you know, hey, is this the one? Hey, are you guys going to get married? Hey, is our, um, are you going to settle down ever? You know, like, I feel like it's the outside pressure and they don't want anybody else to make those decisions for them. I feel like they need to make those decisions for themselves and they're working on that. You mean the world to me. I like that. I'll take you mean the world to me. I, I see things that remind me of you wherever I go. I see your name. I, I hear music that reminds me of you. So that tells me that you're, they're always thinking of you. I'm not just ignoring you. I just need to focus on myself right now. So they take the time and space to work through some of these things that they're struggling with. We do belong together. I feel like this person's willing to fight. I think whatever they are struggling with, that they, they have a tendency to run, they have a tendency to hold back their feelings. I, I feel like they're trying to push through that as best that they can. And it's because they really do care about you and they really do want to stay in this connection. So they are going to have to learn and you are going to just keep talking to them. And over a period of time, they're going to, you know, they'll, they'll um, be able to release their feelings more and more. And I feel like they're going to grow over time. Can you feel me when I think about you? You know, do you know that I'm thinking about you? Do you know that I want to be with you when we're not together? You know, I'm not ignoring you. Just know that I'm thinking about you. Um, you are always on my mind. This person's got some growing to do. I can feel your energy all around me and I can't fight this feeling anymore. I don't want to run. So this is a runner who says, I don't want to run. And, you know, almost this feeling of please help me. <laughs> please help me not push fear, you know, push you away because of fear, you know. So make them feel secure. Let them know that you you want to be in this as much as they want to be in this. Um, it's not like you're you're trying to heal somebody. It's somebody that is, um, I guess, just wants a sense of I've got to learn how to ground myself. I've got to learn how to, um, you know, work through some difficult feelings. And I'm hoping that you're the person that they want to do that with. Because if, if, they, if you are, then you can have a very healthy and happy relationship. I feel like this is the first time they, in their life that they are thinking about settling down with somebody. And that scares them. So let's put this out into the universe and let's ask Spirit to guide you both. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.